No, I'm very disappointed. You know, uh, I thought we played well in the first half as a team, and I thought in the second half we didn't play well. And uh, we, I, we wanted to finish the game properly, and we didn't. I'm concerned about the drops. Concerned about the lack of discipline. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm definitely concerned about the drops. You know, we, we've got to make plays, and uh, either when you're focused and you're good enough to do it, you do it. And if you're not, you're not going to make plays. And, you know, when you get six, seven drop balls the way we did, you know, all to stay on the field and put us in you know better position, then that's obviously a concern. Um, you know, that, that we have we got to have the ability to make those plays, those easy plays. It's just the reality of being a pro football player. It's like a complete night and day almost on when you use the word focus, which is the word I would use, the complete night and day between the first and second 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I, I could see from the sideline a guy looking downfield and, and not looking the, looking the ball in. I, I see it, you know, three or four times. Where they're looking to see what yards they can get before they even caught the football, you know. You can't do that. So that part of it, yeah. And, and obviously, you know, penalties are an issue. You know, we donated, you know, one field goal and a number of penalties. And, and also understanding situations in the game. When you got them backed up in their goal line, they come off the goal line every single time. You know, we, we, we know we got to turn that field position to the points, and fortunately, we didn't do that either. The decision to for Arlen not to go. Uh, you know, he was cleared to play on day three, but just felt like you know wouldn't be the smartest thing to do, considering he hadn't played last week and he only you know had really had one day of practice. Do you think the fact that the game didn't mean anything in the standings might have had something to do with? All of those other things, like the penalties and guys maybe not focusing. No, no, I don't think so. I think that you know you're a pro; you should be able to do that. We get paid to win; we don't get paid to play, and uh, we didn't do that. I'm assuming third and one. Under a lot of circumstances, you don't go for that. And that were you trying to work your short yardage? Was that like practicing short yardage for? Yeah, I was trying to be aggressive at midfield, yeah. and, and I, you know, I felt we we're playing good enough defensively. Unfortunately, you know, because we're at midfield. Mm -hmm. Felt like we could get that, and uh, you know, be aggressive and, and you know, and, and go for it, and, and uh, rather than kicking them deep. And, and I also felt we were playing good enough defensively that you know, mm -hmm. and unfortunately they came down scored off of that. What do you think happened on that thirty-one? Well, I, I'll have to look at the film. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure we we got off the ball as much as we needed to, and or you know, in terms of submarining or did we actually drive our legs and get pushed? You know, we have to see the tape, but you know, uh, until I see the tape, I, I can't say. But I have a sense of what happened. Did you play a whole bunch more man to man in the second half than you normally do, or is that just? Yeah, we played we played some man and, uh, and a little more man, and uh, you know, it fit what we were doing up front, and, and uh, you know, obviously uh, Arsenal had a good day. Did you uh, the decision to play Kevin the entire game? Uh, was the plan initially to, to rest him, and where did that come from? Well, you know, I, I'd hoped to get him out at the end of the third quarter. You know, and it was you know coming at halftime. We talked, you know, talked to the coaches and said, you know, if we can get a little rhythm going in the third quarter, get another score, you know, open it up a little bit, and you know, we could get him out. And uh, you know, just the second half just had a really bad taste, and you know, we need to play through it and give our chance, ourselves a chance to salvage a win to, to kind of take some of that 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 away. And we didn't do that. And, you know, I felt like we were protecting him pretty good. That, that, that wasn't an issue, you know. Um, he, he seemed to play. I mean, if he, if he even catch half of those six or seven. He did his job. Yeah, he, he delivered happy the football. With the way he's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right where he was at. I mean, you know, he threw that deep one late to Willie Thornton. It's a touchdown that, you know, blows the game open, right? And we dropped that one. We dropped him even in the last drive. And, I mean, he did his job, and he got the ball delivered to where it had to go. Does it feel like a step backwards going into the playoffs? I mean, lack of execution and drops? Yeah, you don't want to go in like that. And penalties, you know. And again, you know, defensively letting them off the goal line. I know I can't start to imagine how many yards Lule had passing. You know, you don't expect that. But, um, no, you don't want to go in that way. Uh, that, that was the whole concept of keeping the starters in the second half, you know, because things, you know, at the end of the third quarter, you know, we weren't where we wanted to be.